Hello everyone, as you could see from the title, this video is going to be about one of the most frequently asked questions by our followers and viewers whether you should own a Samoyed or any other double coated fur dogs in the tropics or hot countries. And after answering your questions, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you some of my own personal tips. In my case, sushi is a Samoyed. you to raise a double coated for dogs in hot countries and also I'm gonna put in the description box the time frame of each question so in case you are interested in specific questions or you don't have the time to watch the whole video you can go straight to the time of the questions that you are interested Do you have any tips about a Samoyed or anything I should know about them before getting one? Well, so simply put, um, Samoyed is a double coated fur dog. It means they have two layers of coat, an underneath coat layer which consists of softer hair and the top coat which consists of longer hair which also called guard hairs. And you could see this double coated fur in many other different types of dogs such as uh, Alaska, a husky or also golden retrievers and these coats are not just simply about the look and there are more than that the undercoat consists of the softer hair will keep them warm during the cold winter months but these dogs have to undergo a transitioning phase which is called cold blow this is actually the first thing that you should consider before running these beautiful double coated fur dog because the transitioning season is also something that you are probably known as the shedding season and this is why Samoy dog owners always fill up such a big bag of fur when they brush their dog and because of this brushing is such an important thing to do if you are thinking of running a Samoy and also Samoy is such a big dog so they really require frequent and daily walkies and exercises every day Therefore, you should be able to make some times to take them out for exercises. Second question. I have a 14-week-old Samoyed puppy. How often should I bathe or groom any product? Well, what I would say about this question is that it really depends on where you're from. Usually, Samoyed only need a fully bathe about two or three times a year because they have an ability to shake off the dirt off their fur after the fur gets dirty and so on however because we live in vietnam and the weather is really hot the environment isn't that great it's quite polluted so i can't just do the same thing as other Samoyed owner anywhere else which means i cannot just bathe her two or three times a year so what i do with her is that i bathe her once a month and i think that is an acceptable number of bathing for sushi because so far her fur is not dry due to the bathing and it doesn't cause any problem with the fur or the skin for her and i know that some people over here they bathe their dogs like two or three times a month and i think that is too much because um, the hair has the natural oil which keeps the hair moisturized and if you bathe too often you're gonna scrap off the natural oil from the hair and that is gonna cause the hair to be really dry and if your dog skin is sensitive it also may cause uh, some certain problems with the skin as well about the product i5 blush puppy shampoo and conditioner are the best for sushi so far because the shampoo are formulated from natural ingredients such as palm oil or coconut oil so it is very safe and it has never been tested on animals third question can Samoyed happily survive in India because the weather conditions of India and Vietnam are almost the same? Well, yes and no. Why? Because as we all know, these beautiful babies are not supposed to live in hot areas like Vietnam or India. However, it really depends on how you're gonna treat them or how you're gonna willing to take care of them what do you have to offer for them so i'm gonna give you some tips of how to 
keep these beautiful fur baby comfortable in these hot countries which is basically hot all year round at the end of the video okay question number four what did you do in the summer with sushi well again it's, it's mostly summer all year round in vietnam so just like the previous question kind of so please keep watching and i will give you some tips next question i'm currently living in sf my apartment is quite small too wonder if that would be a torture to the dog well i think these dogs do need a big space because they do need to go back and forth and so on however if you are living in a small apartment but you are willing to make your time to bring the dogs out many times a day like three or four times a day and when you are inside you have the time to spend with them because these dogs love to spend their time with their humans then i think that's okay because they may stay in a big house but then what if you just throw them in the big house and you don't have the time to spend with them inside the house you don't have the time to play with them or you don't have the time to bring them out then that's not okay either so i think it really depends on you how you are going to take care of your dog of course a bigger place is always ideal and these for babies love bigger space so that they can run around and so on but I think the most important thing is that they need their runner, their humans, their parents to take care of them, to play with them, to spend time with them, and to take them out for walkies. You should choose a good time to bring your dog out for an exercise or a walk. The best time is when the temperature is lower, so it would not be so hot for them. These are usually big dogs, so they do need tons of exercises. But please be aware that it would be a torture for them if you bring them out when it is too hot. We bring sushi out for two long walks, once in the early morning and once in the late evening, when the weather gets a little more chilly. She gets another short walk for only about five minutes during the day. On cooler days, we will go for longer walks or play outside more, and on those hotter ones, we stay inside more. It's really dangerous to let your dogs go out for a long walks in the hot hours or hot days because they may get a heat stroke and it may be life-threatening. Well, it does not get any cooler inside the house or apartment when you live in a hot weather country. Therefore, please make sure to provide your fur babies with a good indoor environment to make them feel comfortable. Sushi is always in rooms provided with air conditioner. She also has a fan to herself in our bedroom in case it gets especially hot on some days or when the air conditioner has some problems. Please always make sure to give them lots and lots of water during the walk or play. Cool water is even better for them. If your dog is a picky boy or girl when it comes to drinking water, you may try your luck with coconut water, fruit juice like watermelon juice and so on. And again, Please always fill up your pet's water bowl to make sure they drink enough water and they are not feeling thirsty or suffering from the heat. And why should you never shave your dog? Because not only the fur protects them from the cold winter weather, but it also helps isolate their skin from the heat. The hair is there for many reasons, one of which is thermal regulation. If you look at the thermal image of a dog here, you could see that the shaved part is actually at higher temperature compared to the non-shaved portion. So please, you are not helping them when you shave their fur. Frequent brushing is so important, especially during shedding season, because it could help avoid their coats to get tangled and clumped, so you would not have to shave off their beautiful coat also, this is such a bonding time between you and your dog and it has been shown that these dogs do actually really enjoy being brushed by their owners. And also, because I only have sushi, which is a sandwich, so some of the information about other double-coated fur dogs like Alaska or Husky or Golden Retriever might be different. So if you are thinking or running a different double-coated fur dog breed, this video may be uh, an initial guide for you to watch and to think about but please make sure to do some more research about the specific breed that you are interested in having, okay? 
Well guys, so that is all about today. I hope my answer to some of your questions were okay and I hope that my tips could help you a bit in the process of taking care of this beautiful fur baby. And if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask me the question in the comment section. Or just, you know, hit me up in any other social media platform. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. See you in our next video.